Breaking news, breaking news. More problems for Sean Cone. More problems for Puff Daddy. More problems for P. Diddy. A woman has come out alleging that P. Diddy, Sean Cone's back in 2001. So let's get to it. What do we know? This woman's name is Thalia Graves and she's being represented Gloria Oret. Now she held a press conference alleging that Puff Daddy and a close associate of his SA'd her. The internal pain after being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. It's a pain that reaches into your very core of who you are and leaving emotional scars that may never fully heal. Some of the hardest parts of this pain are the shame and the guilt I have experienced that plays a negative part in my day-to-day -day ability to function properly being blamed, questioned, and threatened has often made me feel worthless, isolated, and sometimes responsible for what happened to me. My family issues made the pain even worse. She is alleging, again, this is all alleging, okay? This is not fact. This is her version of the story. She is alleging that Puff Daddy and another associate also videotaped her without her consent. And that during the SA that she was humiliated, she was forced to do this, she was actually supposedly threatened. So all of this coming out, another victim alleging that she had to take part in these freak offs that now P. Diddy is being held behind bars because of this. If you haven't been watching the news, you may have been under a rock or something. P. Diddy is now in lockup in a federal detention center in Manhattan. The prosecution, the U.S. Attorney General is alleging that he forced women to engage in freak offs, videotape them, drug them. She says that she was forced to do this against her will. She spoke during a press conference. She was very emotional. She was crying the whole time. She was dabbing her eyes. And at one point she couldn't even get through the press conference because she was so upset. She said that this alleged act caused her pain, suffering, humiliation, the gamut. So she has not specified how much she is suing P. Diddy. She's going to leave that for trial to determine but she said that it has caused her physical harm, emotional harm, PTSD, depression. Her lawyer is claiming that P. Diddy and another associate distributed the tape and showed it around, causing her even further embarrassment. Defendants caused plaintiff to be de depicted in a video image, unclothed and with intimate body parts exposed and engaged in sexual conduct with another person, end quote. The lawsuit also alleges that, quote, defendant Combs and another defendant published and or disseminated the videos without plaintiff's knowledge or consent. On information and belief, defendants have continued to disseminate the video, including by selling it as pornography through the present. End quote. So lots to dissect and lots to untangle. P. Diddy is in a lot of trouble. I don't know if he, whether he's going to be able to get out of this. Um, it doesn't look like he is going to get out of it because he was denied bail twice by a judge. And he put up like $50 million and the judge was like, no way, we're going to keep you in jail. So 
I don't know what's going to happen when it comes to B. Diddy, but I think that a lot more people are going to be filing. His lawyer was on CNN about a week ago saying that the only person that's really has a problem with P. Diddy and it's more of a personal matter is his girlfriend, Cassie. You know, that huge video that came out with P. Diddy beating her up. His uh, P. Diddy's lawyer is saying that's the only one that's really has come forward. But we know that lots of people, lots of other women have filed lawsuits against P. Diddy. Now, this is, again, civil lawsuits, not criminal lawsuits. This is the totally different. This woman is filing a civil lawsuit. The U.S. Attorney General filed criminal charges against P. Diddy, meaning that he can spend a very, very long time in jail. Again, he's charged with RICO, he's charged with sex trafficking and a other host of things. About two weeks ago, they raided his house and found a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. They found dozens and dozens of tapes of women and these male sex workers performing essay acts on each other. So again, lots to dissect here, and I don't know if P. Diddy is going to be able to get out of this. He has a very high-profile lawyer, which is probably costing P. Diddy millions, but I don't think that he's going to be able to escape this. What do you think? Do you think that he's going to be able to escape this? He, his lawyer says he'll, he wants a trial. That's what his lawyer says. We're going to defend P. Diddy to the very end. P. Diddy wants to speak his case, but does he really want to go on stand against all these women? Or does he even want to go on stand to even talk about what was found in his house or what's on those tapes? If I was him, I would plea out. That's it. I would just take a plea bargain because there, I don't think there's any way that he's going to be able to, to beat this case. He's not going to be able to walk free. I just don't think. There's just too much mounting evidence against him. And there's not only people saying that he did this, but there's actual physical evidence that was discovered in his house. So what is he going to do? Like, really? I don't know. Right now he's in jail. He's sitting in jail. He's been in jail for about a week and a half. I'm sure he's thinking, hey, wow, this can't be happening. But yes, it is happening. And it just shows that just because you are on top and you think that you're able to treat people a certain way doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get away with it. Yeah, you're on the top one day and the law is coming for you. And that's what's happening with P. Diddy right now. Sean Combs, you know, he even got the key to the city, my city. He even got the key to my city. New York, New York. The mayor said, give me back that key. He was like, uh-uh. You are not getting no more keys from us. Give it back. So he had to even give back the key to New York City. So he is in a whole heap of trouble. Now, I wanted to also mention that Gloria Allred couldn't answer a lot of questions that the reporters were asking. She, they wanted to know more about this woman. She would not answer that. They wanted to know what she did for a living. She would not answer that. Let me see what else she would not talk about. She would not also talk about whether P. Diddy contacted her. She said, nope, I can't comment about that. Another reporter asked her, how did this woman learn that these tapes were being distributed and she was in it? Gloria Orrick couldn't answer that. Of course, these are all allegations. And I'm sure as a, an attorney can't talk about all the situations because it's still being investigated and it's a lawsuit. And obviously it's still, these are still allegations. So she couldn't go into it. But again, you know, this woman, Thalia Graves, is alleging that P. Diddy and another associate essayed her, assaulted her, and videotaped her without her knowledge, and then distributed the tape without her knowledge, causing her physical, emotional, and mental harm. And she is now suing P. Diddy. And I'm sure it's not one of the few that's going to come. I'm thinking it's one of the many lawsuits that will continue to appear while he's in jail. So again, I'll keep you abreast of this P. Diddy, Sean Combs case. Lots of stuff is going to be unfolding. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you don't know what happened with P. Diddy earlier, make sure you tune in to my other video and I will explain to it just exactly what happened and the breaking news attached to this huge news story. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Thanks, bye.